Hi, I'm Jackie from IELTSJackie.com. This video will give you a brief summary of the IELTS General Writing Test. It covers all the basics you need to know, including why choose IELTS General, important facts, the test format and the skills assessed. You'll find all the related lessons, including many sample questions and answers, by the link in the notes below the video. So why choose IELTS General? The general test is for people wanting to work in or emigrate to the UK, Ireland, Australia, Canada or New Zealand. It's widely accepted for visa and employment applications, education at high school level and non-academic training such as practical vocational courses. It's different to the IELTS academic test which is required by universities and professional registration bodies. Now for some important facts. For task 1 you should write a minimum of 150 words. The time allowed for this is around 20 minutes. And for task 2 you should write a minimum of 250 words in a time of about 40 minutes. This gives a total time limit for the test of 60 minutes or 1 hour. It's also important to know that task 2 contributes twice as many marks to your overall score as task 1. Next we look at the test format. For task 1 you are required to write a short letter requesting information or explaining the situation in relation to a specific circumstance. The letter must be in one of the following styles as appropriate to the situation. Formal to someone you don't know or informal to a friend or close family member. There are seven common task 1 letter topics. An apology, a letter of complaint, a request, a letter of explanation, letters of application and resignation, letters to make an arrangement or an invitation. You'll find lessons on each of these including sample questions and model answers in the link in the notes below. For task 2 you must write an essay on a topic of general interest. The essay will be a response to a specific point of view, problem or argument that will be stated in the question. There are five types of task 2 essay. Opinion essays, discussion essays, problem solution essays, advantages and disadvantages essays and double question essays. Again you'll find lessons on each of these via the link in the notes below. It's important to understand how your essay will be assessed. As with all elements of the IELTS exam, the IELTS general writing test is marked according to four marking criteria. These are task achievement which is the appropriate response to the task, coherence and cohesion, which is the ability to present a well-structured essay, lexical resource, which is the ability to use a range of appropriate vocabulary and to use it correctly, and grammatical range and accuracy, the ability to use grammar correctly and to use a range of grammar forms. Each carries 25% of the marks. The two parts of the general writing test are designed to assess your ability in different skill areas. The assessment criteria for any specific question will depend on the type of task you're asked to complete. But here's a general overview. For task 1 your letter will assess your ability to engage in personal correspondence and be assessed in relation to one or more of these skills. Elicit and produce general factual information, express needs, wants, likes and dislikes and express opinions such as views or complaints. And for task 2 your essay will be assessed in relation to one or more of these. Outline a problem and present a solution, present and justify an opinion or evaluate and challenge ideas, evidence or an argument. In addition to the sample questions and model answers in the lessons I've already mentioned, there are many more in my other lessons for the general writing test. You can use the questions for practice and the model answers to learn from. 
You'll find them all via the links in the notes below. Thank you for watching this video and I look forward to seeing you in another one again soon. Goodbye for now.